Hello guys, this video is about uh, how to update and set up the XFC-23 3-axis gimbal for the ELRS, SBUS or Crossfire system. So let's start with the required items. Of course, you will need the gimbal itself here and the JST 1.08 pin uh, which is given in the package so don't worry about that and then move down here first you need the program for the configuration of the gimbal and you need the firmware and uh, for the for configuring the gimbal you can do it two ways the first way is through beta flight or INAV flight controller and another method is through the J1.0 configuration module. You can choose either way, but in this video, I will choose the second method, which is J1.0 config module. And I will tell you a reason why I choose this method. And then the next equipment that you will definitely need is the ELRS receiver and the transmitter. And of course, a power source of 7.4 to 26.4 volt. And you also need the cable to connect between the USB-C and to your computer. You need a Windows computer only, Windows computer, and you need the Wi-Fi to download some firmware and configuration. And also, I also recommend that you should have the manual and the 3D files that is given by the manufacturer itself. So let's move on how to get those things. First, the J1.0 config module here, you can get it when you buy the product and I will, I will show you to make sure that you will get it. So there are two websites to get this gimbal, allxf.com or allxianfei.com, they are from the same company. And sometimes the website does not work on the first uh, launch, you may have to refresh uh, the website a few times before it is get is going to work i don't know why however when you uh buy the uh click the buy button they will lead you to the official store uh in the aliexpress and no matter which version of the product that you are going to buy no matter it is for dji 04 or for pro dji 03 or etc they will give you the config module as a gift in the package already so this is to make sure that you will get it for sure so let's move on to other uh, equipment that you will be needing so for the program firmware manual and 3d file you will get it from here we are still in the same website here all xf or allsianfer.com the fastest way to get uh, the files is uh, the top menu bar from the top menu bar you just move your mouse cursor over the word gimbal and then a pop-up window and move your mouse cursor over the another word gimbal and then another pop-up window and click on the product which is c-23 3x gimbal in this case and then on the product page you scroll down until you find this uh, menu bar and under the download tab you will see many files what we want is here and here and also here the first one is the configurator and firmware after you have downloaded we are uh raw here the blue the blue uh the blue text you will get this folder the folder name is here c-20 upgrade blah 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 and under the subfolder firmware you will get the firmware file and under the subfolder software and another subfolder gimbal config you will get the uh, configurator and then let's move on to uh, the 3d file after you have downloaded you will get the folder say uh, named xf gimbal and under this folder you will get the whole chunk of the 3d model of the gimbal and then under the subfolder 3d print files there are other many 3d models for you and then move on to the wiring. Uh, the I will explain why I don't use the beta flight or INAV pass through method because here you have to connect the JST uh, connector 
into this port here, and there are three wires. However, in the manual of the gimbal, it doesn't say which wire is which. So I don't know which one is UR, TX, RX, or ground. So I just dump this idea and then move on to the next method via J1.0 uh, config module. And you have to wire uh, everything up according to this diagram uh, based on one power source in the system if you have one power source in the system this will work okay and uh, i want to note uh, uh explain a little further here uh, the pin now on the j1.0 millimeter egg pin is also given in the manual so what you need is the red y power and the ground y and the fifth the fifth pin from the power line the fifth from the power line uh, which is the gray wire in my case the uh, here connect to the tran tx pad on the elrs receiver and also you need to bind the rx and ts together and also set up a model and the mix page on the model for up to five more that you can control okay and there is a warning that I want to uh, tell you. If somehow you use two power source in the system, let's say your drone or your car or your setup has two batteries in it, and you uh, use one battery to power up the gimbal and another battery to power up the ELRS, uh, let, let's just assume that you, use, you are using two batteries. Uh, this wiring will not work. And it may happen when you just uh, following the instruction in the manual because it just say that you need one wire from the PWM1 to the TX pad here. And, but if you use two batteries in the system, it will not work. To make it work, if you need to use two batteries in the system, you need a common ground wire. So either the black dot line here or the green dot line here will make this setup uh, this, wi this wiring diagram work the controlling signal will be able to pass through the gray wire here okay now let's go back to the wiring diagram after you have uh, wired everything up and connect to your computer here connect the gimbal to the computer here then let's move on to update the gimbal in order to update, you open the configurator app. The first thing you need to do is to select the correct COM port. And you will know that you, that you have chosen the correct COM port when you click the start debug. Once you click the start debug, if the correct COM port has been chosen, you will see parameters showing up here and also the green movable bar in the channel tabs. Uh, if you don't see it, just select another COM port. After you see the parameters, then you can select open to open the firmware file here and, and also click the, oh, to open the firmware file. After you click open the firmware file, you can click the upgrade button down here. And after that, just wait for the firmware updating to finish. And that is it for the update gimbal, uh, to updating the gimbal. Let's move on to set up the gimbal. Okay, we are, we are let's say we have just, have just uh, connect the gimbal into the computer. So the starting is the same. Uh, select the right COM port and click the start debug. And then here in the blue dot area are the parameters that you can uh, adjust. The most important thing is here, you have to assign the channels for the mode, sensitivity, row, pitch, or yaw. Uh, if any function that you don't need to control, let's say you don't need the mode, just leave the channel selection blank. And it means that the mode will not be functioning. After you have finished setting up uh, and assigning the channel, oh, for all the parameters just like this and this, 
it has they have been described it ha they have been explained in the manual already so you better read the manual if you want to adjust more parameters than assigning the channels so after you have set up uh, the gimbal or, or finish the setting up the gimbal then click upload parameter to upload the information in the configurator in the configurator to the gimbal and then click save parameter to flash after that it is done and this is this is just uh, to show you what it looks like when it is working Make when you move the can. stick rotate it when you move the stick uh, the 3d model in the configurator will move and the green bar under the channel tabs will be moving as well and this is the real gimbal Okay, However, the gimbal, working. The However, gimbal the response, response, the uh, gimbal, the response by default will be, will be different than mine. I have adjusted some setting, setting in the, the radio so transmitter, are, so the response uh, of the gimbal the will be different than default. Be different okay, than mine. this is it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.